So do you want to create photographs of your own product in mid journey without paying any money? So yeah, you are in the right place because in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the whole process in which you can create photographs of any product you desire. All right. So yeah, without further delay, let's just jump right into the video. All right, guys. So here I am in my mid journey V6 again. And as you guys can see right over here that I've been testing on product photography for quite a while now, and I have listed out some of the best methods you can go ahead and create product photographs of your own okay so basically uh there are two methods of doing that so first you can go ahead and do that with the good old image to image generation in mid journey and the other method you can do that is by the blend method okay which is really really useful as well so yeah uh, first of all uh, you need to make sure that you have uh, the v6 uh, default model on in your mid journey right and after that, let's just say, first of all, this is our first product, which is nail polish. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and create product photographs of this nail polish in order for my business or anything uh, you like to publish on social media or marketing. OK. OK. So first of all, if we go ahead and do that uh, with the easy, good old image to image generation with mid journey. So it's really easy. So first of all, you need to go ahead and upload image of this product which is nail polish to mid journey so i'm going to click on this plus button upload a file and i'm going to upload the image of my nail polish to that okay and after that you need to go ahead and type imagine over here just paste uh, the link of your image that you uploaded of the product to your prompt right over here and after that by giving space you need to go ahead and type the prompt right away okay which is going to be a modern podium design with a salon background, the short type is close up with bright lighting, the nail polish bottle is placed on the podium and all those details. Obviously, uh, this prompt is following the prompt formula, which we did earlier in our mid journey product photograph video. So you need to go ahead and type in your prompt. So now uh, this image will be added to this prompt right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and type enter. Let's just wait for our results and see how it goes. All right, so here we go, guys. So this was our product. And for that, it provides us these four variations of photographs. Yeah, this looks absolutely terrific. So we have uh, the nail polish on podium, um, capturing the vibrant color and the sleek design of the bottle and all that. And we have a very good background, uh, like just the way we want it. And the third picture, I think uh, we have some kind of deformation. But other than that, if you take a look at the second image, set, this looks really, really good. We have red in the background. This looks like a studio photograph uh, with our own product image, which is really, really good. So yeah, if I go ahead and do that now uh, with the blend method, so it is a bit complicated, but it can be really useful. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So for that, uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and type uh, this prompt right over here normally and see what results are we going to find out of that. So I'm going to type imagine type in my prompt all right so here we go so this is basically just a random product uh, that is generated from the prompt that i input so in that i really want to do is i want to add my product into this image so that it looks like it is the product photography of my product right so that's really important so for that you need to go ahead and separate the product with the background so you have to generate the background and then add product into that background, right? So it sounds a bit complicated, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you the whole method of that. So for that, you need to go ahead and type in this prompt once again, but without the product in that. So I'm gonna be focusing on just the background from this image, okay? So for that, if you don't know how to do it, you can take help from Copilot like I've taken over here. So I type in my prompt and I said, now I have the prompt. Uh, but don't include the product in that. I just want the background and it typed me that prompt in it. Okay, so let's just say if I go ahead and copy this, come to mid journey and type it over here. So here we go, guys. Now uh, we have the background separated like in the first and the third image and also the fourth because we can add uh, our nail polish product right in here. So we have now the background separated from the product. Okay, so what we can do is we can now add our product into this background with the help of the blend method, okay? So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the best one from here. So let's just say I'm really much liking uh, the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and upscale the first one. All right, so I'm gonna save this image and I have the product image with me as well. So I'm gonna type over here, blend. 
So it gives me the option to upload multiple images. So first of all, I'm going to input my product image into that, which was this. And now I can input my background, okay, which is this. Okay, so and after that, I can simply click enter and let's just see how the results is going to turn out. And I'm going to go ahead and also compare uh, that with image to image generation. Okay. All right. So here we go. So now if I can go ahead and compare uh, the blend method with image to image generation. So I really feel that the image to image generation, the good old method was really accurate. But in blend method, um, our product isn't that accurate. Like it's a bit different uh, from the actual product that we inputted. So yeah, uh, I think the image to image method is going to work perfect for our own product photography, right? Okay, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and take these sunglasses as my own product. So I'm going to go ahead and create product photographs of this sunglasses, okay? So with the image to image method, I'm going to type here, imagine, just paste the link of my sunglasses. And after that, I can type in my prompt, which is going to be imagine a sleek podium designed with a bee sitting as a background. The shot dive is closer with natural lighting. So it's a really big prompt. So yeah, uh, for the accurate results, you want to make sure you provide as much detail as possible, okay? So now let's just go ahead and press enter and see how our product photography is going to turn out. All right, so there we go. This is absolutely perfect, right? So check out the results. So we have a sleek podium design of sunglasses with a beach setting in the background. And it seems like that is actually taken from a professional camera. So yeah, we have our own product. Each and everything looks absolutely perfect. So yeah, this is how. Uh, the image to image method works really, really well with your own product photographies, right? All right, so our last product is gonna be this packet of coffee beans. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create product photographs of this product right over here, okay? So for that, again, I need to go ahead and upload the file of my product, which is this. Then type imagine over here, paste uh, the link of my product first of all hit space and then type in my prompt, which is going to be imagine a rustic podium design with the cafe setting as a background. The short type is filled up with warm lighting to capture the rich texture of the coffee beans and all those important details. Now uh, let's just go ahead and hit enter and see how our this product is going to turn out into a product photograph. Okay. All right. So here we go, guys. So this was our actual product with the branding on that. And it provided me kind of a very similar results uh, with a lot of photography style in that. Of course, uh, you guys can see that the branding is not good in that. It has basically changed the branding, but, but you can obviously edit that or Photoshop that very easily. Type in your own name. But other than that, the whole aesthetic, the setting, the background looks absolutely perfect. Like this is how easily you can go ahead and create your own product photographs with the help of Mid Journey, okay? All right, so our last product is going to be a little bit tricky. We're going to go ahead and take this T-shirt as a product. And I'm going to go ahead and try to put this T-shirt onto some model and create product photographs out of that. This will be a little bit tricky, but you know, the method is going to be the same. So just follow me on that. So yeah, uh, first of all, we need to go ahead and upload the image of this T-shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and hit upload a file, upload my T-shirt to mid journey right over here. All right, done. So after that, uh, again, you need to go ahead and type imagine, type in the link of your t-shirt first of all, hit space, and then type in your prompt. Make sure that you're writing your prompt that there should be a model in your image, okay? Like I did right over here. I said the short type is full body shot with natural lighting to capture the model wearing the t-shirt, okay? And now let's just go ahead and hit enter to see how this t-shirt is gonna turn out, okay? All right, so here we go, guys. So this was our actual product. And with the help of the product photography feature in Mid Journey, it has created me these results. So these are really, really accurate. Like this just gives me the vibe of my product that I upload in Mid Journey. So this is absolutely perfect. Like it's crazy how you can create your own product photographs in Mid Journey with that ease. All right, so I hope you like this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.